Hi guys, welcome bij de behind the scenes van de MM Proud online classes. Vandaag zal ik het hebben over Ivy. Zij was onze derde docent en ze had een special guest star, dat was Jimmy. Can you see us? Say Pawaka Suriname. I hope I said that right. We're gonna take care of you guys. This is my BFF Jimmy. We're so excited to be with you guys today. We're so excited to bring you guys a little bit of LA choreography. Pawaka means like, what's up? Oh, Pawaka! Jerissa! Ivy en Jimmy zijn best friends. Ik heb ze vorig jaar mogen ontmoeten toen ik in LA was. Ik heb Ivy leren kennen via Vernon. Hij volgde er al een tijdje en hij heeft ons zo in contact gebracht met elkaar. En in principe vanaf we elkaar in het echt hebben ontmoet, konden we meteen goed met elkaar opschieten. Ze was ook heel erg geïnteresseerd in Suriname om meer te weten over onze dansers hier, de dansstijlen die we doen. Ze is echt een van de docenten die ik op het oog had om naar Suriname te brengen. Helaas vanwege de situatie kon dat dus niet. Maar tenminste hebben we een online class met haar kunnen doen. En heeft ze dus zelf kunnen zien wat onze Surinaamse dansers kunnen. Ik heb een paar leuke ervaringen met Ivy en Jimmy. Waaronder bloopers toen ze op een swanboel probeerden te dansen. En de Dutch Challenge die ik met ze heb gedaan. Everybody say Fawaka Suriname. Fawaka Suriname. On our soccer. Groen. Purple? Oranje. Orange. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Bam! What I say? I speak Dutch, yo. Brown. Brown. Yeah. It's not down here. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not down here. The sky. No way. She didn't even say the word. What? Yeah. <laughs> like you can't see it, but it's not here. Air. You can't see air, Ivy. One eternity later. Goodbye, and I got this song. Let's go. It's a wrap, and we're going hiking tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> What are you making us do this time, Ivy? Some, <laughs> some nonsense. No, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. It's an adventure it's every day. Well, going back, we have to walk downhill, so that's kind of that's gonna be fast. Yeah. We'll just Run. like you guys could just lay me down and roll me like a stop. <laughs> Is that a ladybug? Is that a ladybug? Can you just roll it? Oké, okay, dus dat was zo een beetje mijn ervaring met Ivy en Jimmy. Ik kreeg heel veel positieve feedback over Ivy's les. Mensen houden van haar humor. Lord, the wavy things. How can I go over the wavy things better? De combinatie Ivy Jimmy. It's gonna stop. Oh, 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 oh! Jimmy, you was dead. En ook hoe ze allebei zo geïnteresseerd waren om les te geven aan ons als Surinamers en om te zien wat we kunnen doen. When I've mentioned Suriname to other people, they're like, oh my gosh, I've heard of there. Like when they're teaching in Amsterdam, they heard of you guys, they know you guys, they know of you guys. You matter and your art is beautiful and important and we, we see you. Zoals ik zei in de behind the scenes van Bianca en Sam, de Q&A met de docenten is een onderdeel van onze Aspire to Inspire series. En vorig jaar heb ik al de eerste Aspire to Inspire kunnen opnemen met Ivy. If you had to give advice to young dancers, what would you tell them? For a young dancer. Aspiring professional dancers. I would say train in every possible style that you can even think of doing because a lot of times what you think that you're going to do and what actually is your journey is so different so like don't limit yourself to being like oh i only do this style or this person's class i would say do everything you possibly can because you don't know what door is going to open for you so just really get out there and try everything and then don't 
don't ever give up. Like, if you're like, oh, this isn't fun anymore, like, stick with it. It's a job. Like, jobs aren't fun sometimes. It's not always going to feel like winning and great. And so, stick with it even when the going gets rough. So, try everything and stay consistent and don't give up. Deze vraag had ik dus specifiek gesteld voor onze dansers hier in Suriname. En nu hebben jullie zelf de vragen mogen stellen, dus laten we kijken naar de Q&A van Ivy. Hey yo Suriname, what up? It's your girl Ivy and I'm here to do a little Q&A with you guys about my dance experience. Um, you guys asked how I got started dancing and honestly I'm from a super small town in Virginia and there wasn't anything to do. So my mom signed me up for a dance at our local studio, which was a competition studio, which in the United States, that means you train in technical forms like contemporary ballet, jazz, tap. I did a little bit of hip hop, but we didn't really have that much in our town. Um, so then once I moved to college, I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in dance and choreography at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond. So I studied extensively music and dance history and choreography for four years there. I uh, woke up every day at 8 a.m., did ballet, did modern, um, very traditional conservative forms of dance. And then I always knew I wanted to move to L.A. Um, to pursue commercial dance because I really loved hip hop. I just never really got to do it. I joined a hip hop crew in college and that was like the coolest thing ever. And it like really sparked my love of hip hop, um, even though I didn't really get to train in it growing up. So once I moved to LA, um, I of course took class like every single day while working at a car dealership. I was doing oil changes from eight to five. And then at five, I brought my dance bag and I would go straight to Debbie Reynolds, straight to Millennium, straight to Movement Lifestyle, anywhere, all day, every day. And that's how I linked up with Amari Marshall, who has been my mentor and best friend for the past four-ish years that I've lived here. What gets me inspired to still dance now, even after I've had my daughter, um, love her so much, but life is really hard with a two-year-old, um, but she is what inspires me. You know, she's a girl and I don't want her to feel like because she's a woman, she can't pursue her dreams. And just because you become a mom doesn't mean that you have to stop going for your career goals, no matter what those are. Um, it gets 10 times harder, uh, but it's it, the victory is so much sweeter. In order to get inspired to choreograph, uh, I like to just, I listen to music all day long. Like I'll just play a song over and over and over again and just go out and like stare up at the sky or just like I put it on full 100% volume and I just zone out and I just see pictures to different parts of the song. And then I put those pictures together with just steps and um, other phrases that when I get on my feet, I come up with, but it starts off as like a vision, like an imagery type vision from a song. And then I go from there. And, and a lot of times my steps come from a very rhythmic place. Like I'll be like, oh, I know in the music, I want it to go ti, da ga di, da ga, ga ga si. So then from there, the, the moves write themselves because you already have the texture that you want um, and you just have to like fill in the blanks. Okay. How do I stay busy and motivated during coronavirus? Um, well, I'll tell you at the beginning of the pandemic, I was here for it. I was doing all of the workouts, all the cardio, all that every day, honey. And now I'm just taking care of my mental health because I've been stuck inside with a two-year-old since March. So I'm just doing everything I can to stay positive and take care of myself and just find the little joys in life so that when we can go out and dance again, I have a newfound fire in me. I don't wanna exhaust myself right now. That's just not where my mind's at. So it's okay, at least for me, from me to you, it's okay if you just need to be you as a person right now. That's totally understandable. There's a lot going on in this world. You don't always need to be 
I be the dancer. You know what I mean? Do what you need to do to take care of the longevity of your journey and make sure that your full life path is on the right track and we don't burn ourselves out too early. How to make choreography your own without remixing? A couple of things I would say textures. Number one, like if the choreography is gong gong, you could go gong. You know, so like finding moments where you can play with smooth, ka, ka, like how hard you want to hit something. Um, finding little moments where you can flirt with it, like if the choreo is going da, like you'd be like, hey, hey, so I know who it is, you know, so just finding moments and finding textures is really important. You never want to change the steps. Um, and if you're having a hard time getting the step, ask a question, you know, no big deal. Uh, musicality. Oh, we have a friend. Hey, buddy, you want to help me? you got some makeup on your face. Hey, I'm trying to answer some questions. Is that okay? You want to sit with me? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. She's got eyeshadow on her face. Uh, yeah, you want to hold. These are mommy's notes. Okay. No, you can't have the sharpie. Um, <laughs> musicality is a great question. Um, it's something where in class, at least when you're, yeah, when you're hearing a song for the first time, really hear it. Pay attention to when the teacher is hitting the steps. Um, find the little accents that are behind just the words. Like we all know when we hear a song, you focus on the words, you know, the bass is obvious, but where's the boom, ta, ta, ta. like where's ups and where is downs. So finding the quality of the sound being made and trying to emulate that with your body, it's really going to drive your performance home. What's next? Focus of training. What should be your focus when you're training? Should be trying everything you possibly can, a bunch of different styles, meeting everyone you can, make sure you learn their names, make sure they know your name, make sure you friend people on social media, um, who you know is the most important thing. Absolutely. It comes before talent. So get your booty out there. Meet everybody. Absolutely. Make sure that they know you. Make sure that you are reliable. Make sure you are on time. Your reputation should be the focus of your training first and foremost. Uh, what's the last question, Winnie? What's the last? Hey, can I see? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Advice for dancers in Suriname. Okay, you can have it. Um, while you are in Suriname and you want to train as a professional dancer, obviously right now nothing is happening. So just focus on your training, focus on your consistency, focus on your ability to pick up very complicated steps, what you can do to attract the attention of choreographers here in the United States. You can learn their pieces, their choreographic pieces online. Okay, learn from their videos, learn everything you can, tag them, tag them, tag them so that they can see you. It's really all about who you know and who knows you. Um, there can be plenty of opportunities. You guys are amazing dancers. As I've said, your Afro dance hall is insane. So pick up anything and everything you can while you're there. And that includes online platforms. Um, you never know when someone's gonna see it and be like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Let me fly you out. Or, you know, like I said, We'll get more teachers teaching you guys, getting to know you, making those connections is what makes stuff happen for you. So in the meantime, mom life. In the meantime, just practice your training, get as good as you can in all of the dance forms that you can and see what connections you can make from over there. Um, but we've already made a connection right here. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much to MM Prod for putting this on. Jill, love you. Vern, love you. Um, and I love all my Suriname dancers. Shout out to you guys, keeping it real, keeping it 100, keeping it pure talent and so us all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I gotta go be a mom now, but thank you and have a lovely, blessed day and keep fighting for your dreams, y'all. Okay guys, that was it for the behind the scenes van the MM Prod online classes. I hope that jullie informatie waarna jullie op zoek waren hebben kunnen halen uit de Q&A's. En we gaan wel door met wat lessen en tutorials op MM Prod TV, dus stay tuned.